Two, one. Hi everyone. Hey guys, welcome to Binge. Or Bitch, where he talks. And she talks. And we both eat. Definitely. Um, thank you guys for tuning in today. Today we have something really, really special. Uh, home chef that has made a name for herself in a very, very big way. Uh, she started off in the early 90s, uh, yes. went on to get a first order um, around about that time. Um, she's been dishing out some amazing, amazingly flavorful food, uh, which is loved around Bangalore. Um, she was a task to find, to be very honest, um, for us especially. Uh, but when we did find out, we knew that a lot of people have been ordering from her for a number of years. And uh, we have her food today. We get the privilege of tasting her food today. Oh yeah, we do. Um, we basically found Mrs. Khan thanks to a couple of people who wrote in. We were looking for Bangalore's best biryani. We got loads of options. We are not here to tell you if this is Bangalore's best biryani, but we're here to give you our personal reviews on how this biryani tastes and if it's a binge or a bitch as always. Um, Sean forgot to mention that Mrs. Khan is actually a BSc graduate and she then decided when she had three kids in the 90s she then decided that her husband was the only one um, working and it was really hard for a mother as well and she wanted to support them and her food did so much that today they are a brand by themselves they like to keep themselves quiet yet a lot of people know about them so Hutchins Road, if you haven't ordered biryani, if you haven't ordered your Sunday food, we would definitely recommend Mrs. Khan. She is on Hutchins Road. You can find her on Dunzo, Swiggy, Swiggy Genie that is. And um, if you even Google them, you get their number. So firstly, I need to thank two sisters who recommended this, one in Canada and one in Bombay. So thank you, Nichelle and Natasha. So Nichelle gave us the name and um, Tashu help us get in touch with them. So thank you to the both of you. And this episode is going to be dedicated to all Mrs. Khan's fans. Um, across Bangalore, across India, people know of her. And as you can see, across continents as well. Yep. Yeah, so um, Mrs. Khan's food, um, basically what this is a family run business. Um, it's, not, yeah. it's not something that they have run. Franchises, yeah. So they were offered, yeah, yeah, good, yeah good they fact. were offered a franchise, but they did not want to take that because they wanted to keep it plain, simple, authentic, which I think she's been doing for, I think, about two decades now, and um, yeah. she has been doing it really well. Um, people have been ordering a lot of good reviews, uh, a lot of good, um, a lot of good food, a lot of good food, um, great reviews, great reviews that we've been told of about Mrs. Khan's food so yes we are eager to taste it and uh, we found Mrs. Khan we finally found Mrs. <laughs> Khan yes thank you so much for dishing out some amazing food all these years Mrs. Khan we really appreciate it and it's an absolute honor to be able to taste your food on camera today yes so um, we've got some of their specialities and we've been recommended by a lot of people try this try that okay we can't eat that much <laughs> um, we we are very critical when it comes to biryani him maybe okay me very critical because you need to get it right you need to get that perfect taste um i know a lot of people who have heard me talk to them well not on camera but off camera i've had things to say about biryani and it's only because you know when you taste that biryani it has to hit the spot and when it hits the spot you know that's the right biryani if it doesn't hit the spot well Come on guys, you need to make it hit the spot. <laughs> Alright, so well, um, biryani came about in the, somewhere between the 1500s to the 1800s is when it actually came down to India. It was a mix of Indian spices and the Persian galaf, which came together to make the food of kings, um, which we've come to know it today. And um, yep, yeah, this is, it's not exactly a palau, it's very different. This is layers and layers of um, masala, rice, meat, curd, all of that put together, which you don't have in a pulao or a pulao. 
and um, we have just grown to love it. It's been in India for a number of years. You get variations of this, uh, but we like things that are authentic. Um, this is one of them. I can smell it. Can't wait to get. Can't wait to tuck into this. To be very honest, and um, yeah, that's there. You go. That's that's. For anyone how who's been looking at me and looking at the way I've been looking at that biryani, yes, the smell is so so tempting. It, it is, is divine. Um, Yes, the first thing that actually hits you is the smell. Sorry to cut you off. Uh, no, that's fine. I'm <laughs> actually ahead, waiting ahead. for you to serve me. I'm, I'm waiting to try it. Okay, and just... so let me serve her. Okay, and, uh... so, um, well, let's talk about the packaging. Sorry, before we start that off. Um, for us, they've given it to us in the foils, in the foil covers. They've got given they've a given variety us of stuff. Is, um, so, separately. Okay, packaged. I'm going to show you that last. We've got pepper chicken here. They've got bigger quantities. If you're one person, they've got perfect, a perfect quantity for just one person, which is three, three pieces of chicken. Um, kebabs are the same. They've got you can either get three pieces or you can get twenty pieces if you're having a bigger gathering. So this, as you all can see, is the pepper chicken. It is perfectly coated. It's got a really nice aroma and for those of y'all who love pepper and love that pungent taste, this is definitely a recommendation. We haven't tried that yet but this has been one of the top favourites of a lot of people who wrote in to us. Thank you so much for that because um, I think it's because of y'all that we get to taste so much of nice food and discover so many places which we would have otherwise uh, probably just moved past because it wasn't it wasn't uh, in plain eyesight so from all the years of eating food that we loved um it is it is so sad that we did not get to hear about mrs khan's food before but nevertheless we did get a chance to um first of all the, it's just the smell is so divine um words cannot just explain how amazing this smell um before you do that well yes for, um the other things that you do get these are the things that are highly recommended from mrs khan's food um we've got chicken kebabs, chicken kebabs. perfectly coated nice perfectly and crunchy coated, um, not yet tasted mm, haven't tasted it yet then we of course with with biryani you always need your brinjal curry and raita all yes. right um that is yogurt raita is yogurt mixed with um with onions and cucumber yes a little bit of salt and for those and of you all who are trying to figure out what we're saying brinjal um aubergine, aubergine. or bangan as it's called bangan bangan bang on bang, bang on <laughs> okay no i'm thinking it's bangan <laughs> well if if she does say it wrong please excuse her um if she if just she... correct me please i'm open to correction i want to know if i'm if i'm pronouncing it right is it bangan well, the English word is brinjal or aubergine, which I'm familiar with, the and I is brinjal. brinjal aubergine. Um, okay, uh, there you have it. <laughs> there are two versions of it, so whichever one is correct. And if we are mispronounced, if she is mispronounced, I don't want to take the chance. Excuse her, but you eggplant. Yes, egg. No, yeah, eggplants. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So moving on. Um, trust me. Um, the first thing that hits you is the smell and. Um, those are one of the senses that actually makes you want to eat more of it or makes you want to taste the food. It's um, one of the senses that hits you first. Woo! Yes! Wow. Um, here we go. Okay, as you all can see, I'm not going to wait. Um, I'm literally pushing my plate and asking him to serve me some. Okay, I'm just going to do that's enough for tasting. Here you go. Do you want your plate? Yes, please. Okay. I'm just gonna move this off. Yeah. And uh, thank you. So I am just gonna take a small piece of, well, a bit of Make rice. Noise. Too much noise. Okay. So excuse us while we actually serve, and then uh, let you know what it's like. Um, there are people who like biryani alone. There are people who like biryani with raita like me um she just likes a biryani sean. soaking with raita um, sorry there are, she just there likes are people a biryani soaking like sean who like biryani with pinjol curry and raita um 
So, something that, okay, maybe I should tell you all this. Whenever someone offers me print roll, I've always said I'm allergic to it. But, but that's my, that, that, that's, that's the nice, shush. That's my nice way of saying I don't need it. But um, today I am going to do that without a piece of brinjal. I'm just going to taste the gravy. It's okay if you all don't like it like that. You can just have it anyway. But um, taste things. That's the only way you're going to learn flavors. You're going to learn about different things. Sorry, I'm just giving you this. Oh, I don't. Why are you giving me a spoon? Well, it's you know, on camera. You need I, to give me the spoon. What's wrong with you? You don't get. Please agree. Don't you get the taste of biryani better when you eat with your hands? For some reason, he wants to eat with a spoon and fork. Like, really? Honestly, Sean? No. We're doing this differently. Okay, so... As long as you if you think I'm right, you. say hi. If you think I'm wrong and he's right, where he should eat biryani with a spoon, put a smiley face. I think that's the only way we can differentiate. So there we have it. We have served up everything that Mrs. Khan has had to offer. We've got yes, colourful yes. plates, as you can we've see. We've got our biryani, we've got as you can a see. piece of mutton, we've got our chicken, both types of chicken. And um, yeah, so we are about to dig in. Uh, bon appetit. And uh, Oh yes, for all your veggies, they do have veg biryani. Um, as a friend of mine would say, no biryani, no veg biryani, it's not called veg biryani, it's called veg palau. But they do serve their own share of veg biryani. So if you're a vegetarian and if you want to try them out, I would definitely recommend it. However, let's just dig in. What yeah. am I digging into first? Okay, Obviously. we're going to try the kebab and then I'm going to save my biryani for the last bit. Did you find the kebab as well? Okay. If you've said imperial kebabs are good. You've, we've actually had a lot of kebabs. You have imperial, you have empire, you have Siddiq, you face down. You have a lot of places that serve you good, good kebabs. Trust me. Mrs. Khan is definitely Khan, outbeaten uh, I, I Now I understand why she's been selling this, why she said that mm, this is one of her favorites. We can now understand the amount of love that goes into it. Trust me, this wonderful, wonderful lady, Mrs. Khan, S, serves you the food. You can taste the love, you can taste the passion, you can taste the hard work that she's put in, everything in the food. It just tastes amazing. It's like cooking food for the ones you love and um, I think biryani is the kind of dish that brings everyone together and um, the kebabs is spot on Mrs. Khan thank you so much for doing what you've done um, this is absolutely amazing now that we she, she almost finished the kebabs okay um, this sorry I've bitten into it but I need to show it to you because it is cooked to perfection if you like cartilage I love cartilage um, these kebabs are just really really good so right now the, the expectation that everyone said I said I'm not going to come here with any expectations and I'm just going to try it for myself but right now the expectation that a lot of people have set the kebabs definitely meet them it is spot on it is spot on yeah. uh, it is really good the crunch the taste the flavors the, texture, the flavors the spices it's not too spicy it's not very mild it's got that right amount of heat that comes through when you bite into the kebabs uh, juicy succulent meat yeah. uh, that's what we want in a kebab so any fried foods like I've said before is mostly crunchy on the outside good fried food is always crunchy on the outside and soft and juicy and beautiful beautiful flesh on the inside which we always love um, so there we are that's the kebabs now I think we need the next bit of it which is the pepper chicken which is also highly recommended and um, I think we should go first sorry I've got the kebab flavor in my mouth and that's that's just divine okay um, me or yes, you please. so basically here's what I have to say about pepper I wasn't a big fan of the spice uh, growing up 
but the more I got this put Yeah, so I wasn't a good fan of this, a big fan of the spice, sorry, not a good fan, big fan of the spice, but growing up, um, learned to love the flavors of pepper, the, the, the heat that hits the back of your palate, um, the, back, the back of your throat, to be honest. Um, it is a very, very, very expensive spice. Not very expensive, it's a, on an average, yeah. it's an average selling, I mean, yeah. It's averagely priced and um, one of the spices that is sold out a lot. Um, learn to love the flavors and um, learn to love pepper chicken. I can't stay without it. I love my pepper chicken now, so I'm just gonna keep quiet and just take it. Okay, so the pepper chicken is nice. It's not crunchy. It's got a nice, soft, juicy, tender kind of meat. Um, Okay, basically I don't chef talk, but I'm gonna be doing this for y'all while Sean chews. Uh, but yeah, so it is really juicy. It's got a nice taste. It's got a nice flavor. It's got, it's got a lot of pepper. So it really turns up the heat. It hits you at the back of your throat when you bite into it. Sorry. Um, although, I put a bitch now. I find it extremely oily. So that's my only thing. Kebabs all the way. Go ahead, Sean. Take it away. Um, yes, um, it is a bit oily, but then it's pepper chicken. Um, you need a sufficient amount of oil to cook that, and um, obviously the oils from the chicken as well come out. Um, but with regards to flavors, wow. Um, it's not something that's just on the top. It goes right through the right through the chicken um it's filled it's packed with flavors you can taste the pepper you can taste the onion you can taste the the ginger garlic that goes into it the perfect amount of salt the right amount of pepper um just tender goodness um amazing amazing flavors mrs khan um i think she was spot on with both even though yes it is a little oily but Come on, there, there's just this one day where you want food that you can binge eat and I think this is one of those yeah. things that you can take, a, you you have to take the chance with um, be it the amount of oil that comes, That's that true. is in the dish. Um, keeping that aside, um, I don't think because of the oil itself that this dish should be put down. It is phenomenal, um, except for the oil, everything else is spot on. It is right there, it's packed with flavors. You can taste the love, you can taste the passion, the effort that goes into it. And uh, Becca just wants to dig into the video. <laughs> I've been waiting for a long time for him to actually let to actually say, you know what, why don't you taste the biryani and I'll continue talking. But yeah, yeah go. Why, why are you waiting? Okay. Go for it. So I'm going to try it first without the raita or the this thing because I want to get the true flavor of the biryani. <laughs> and post which I am going to. Have it with the raita and with the curry. So let's see how it goes. Also, you all must know I'm really conscious of eating on camera. It doesn't come across <laughs> like that. But um, if I do drop, please pardon my... Eat. I'm eating. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so while she's enjoying that, um, just by the looks of it, the appearance of the biryani. Mm. I think it's it's a symphony in the mouth, right? <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. Just um, the appearance of it. Um, the grains of rice. Um, it is very. It it's not overcooked. It's perfectly cooked. You can see the grains of rice. The meat. You can you can just look at the meat. It is perfectly cooked. It's falling off the bone. It's just juicy, succulent, tender pieces of the mutton, lamb, mutton or lamb, yeah. yeah, mutton, which is also known as lamb for some people. Um, I'm just gonna let Rebecca talk now. I know she's waiting to say something. So <laughs> Rebecca always has to say something. Okay, uh, I don't know if you've heard this song, but when I put this in my mouth, the only thing I could hear is this song goes. <laughs> <laughs> 
やい方やみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみやみ Uh, let's say it can be a super bitch when it comes to getting it wrong, but this is amazing. Shout out to Nathania, Nichelle. Where do all the ends come? Yeah, Nathania, Nichelle, Natasha, Tammy, a lot of you people for recommending this. This is freaking amazing. You'll need to try it if you're anywhere close or around Hutchins Road. I know everything's locked up today. Yes, we know all the excuses. Swiggy is still working, Swiggy. Genie is still working, Dunzo is still working. And yes, you need to taste Mrs. Khan's biryani. I'm so glad we found her.、Um, the expectation, we didn't come with any, although we kind of had a kind of, what is it called? A hinge? A hunch? A hunch. hunch. Yes. Yeah, s o r r y Hinge. I was thinking of like the. Okay, hunch, never hunch. mind. The door hinges.、Um, so yeah. The, we had a hunch of what it would taste like if you all are just tuning in and you all are still thinking of Sunday lunch, Mrs. Khan's biryanis just hit the right spot. I've lost the words. Guys, one thing let, some of you people like drinking water while you eat, some of you people like drinking water after you eat. This is one of the dishes I would definitely recommend. You people need to drink or have a sip of water so your throat doesn't get dry when you're、yeah. eating it. Have a sip before you try this because once you try it, you do not want to wash down this taste with anything. Trust me, sometimes you need a palate cleanser, but the, this, this combination of biryani, kebabs,、um, good mutton biryani, you can taste the mutton. You, it's just that, well, mutton is more like a. Slightly gamey meat, it's not it's not red meat, red meat,、um, but it's somewhat close, very tender, very succulent, amazing. All of the bone meat, the, the, the grains in the biryani, you do not want to see them clamp together. It you need the biryani to be grainy. It,、um, when for, for some of you guys that、um, like pasta, the rice has to be cooked al dente or at least about 80. To 85% cook before you put the rice with the mixture of your onions, your masalas, your chicken, or mutton, or whatever it is.、Uh, it needs to be cooked 80 to 85%. Okay, sorry, I have to, sorry, I have to interrupt you there. And,、um, I don't know if you all have noticed, but some of y'all may, may remember either your grandmoms, your nanas, Or your mom's probably giving somebody a recipe, and when they're talking about it, they tell you put in your tomatoes, put in your onions, like you're growing them on yourself.、Um, and that's it. <laughs> that was something I just thought of when Sean was saying, you know what, you need to put in your onions. So, it, all of this food has memory, all of this food has soul,、um, food has emotion, food has passion. It, there are so many things that. Food can describe, and when food hits the spot, it's that right kind of emotion that comes through. With this biryani, my, my, I'm gonna use Sean's dialogue and say, My word! But this is really, really, <laughs> really nice biryani. And <laughs> <laughs> yes, so、um, with food, guys, come on, it, it's, it's just very simple,、um, it's very basic. Some people are just born with. Just born with it. You you can learn to cook food, you can try as much as you want. Some people are just born with the gift of dishing out amazing, amazing food. Some people learn the art and then become good chefs. And、uh, some people then just use Swiggy or Danzo to order this food. Like we did today.、Um, and trust me, guys, this is amazing. It is something that she has been blessed with, and thank you for giving us the honor of hand. Uh, mm. The ability to taste this amazing food,、mm. Mrs. Khan. And yes, I know the brinjal will taste good. It、mm. looked amazing. And、uh, this is the first time she's eating it. And thank you for getting her hooked on to brinjal curry. 
now she doesn't have to make an excuse saying that she's allergic to brinjal because we have it right here on camera. Okay, this yes. will never go away. She cannot lie. In Shush. Stop. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, I do not eat brinjal curry. I never been a person a fan of brinjal curry, but I think with this food vlog with bitch or binge or bitch. Sorry, I keep saying bitch or bitch. With binge or bitch, it is. We're trying so many new things. Um, we're trying so many new flavors, and this is honestly a first time in my entire life where I am actually eating brinjal curry and enjoying it with my biryani. Because as I said, I'm the kind of person who likes biryani alone or biryani with a little bit of with a lot of rice. Right? Okay, that was a lie. Um, but I think when I'm ordering from Mrs. Khan's, I'm sure gonna be ordering an extra lot of brinjal curry because it is that good. The taste is phenomenal. You don't have to eat the brinjal. So I didn't eat the brinjal, but I ate the brinjal curry. Do you want me to still go on? Go on, go on. Sorry. Um, this is not fair because this is supposed to be my meal where I enjoy the biryani most of it. <coughs> but Sean's just being mean to me right now like he always is. But... Um, <laughs> my word oh <laughs> jesus sorry oh god mrs khan where have you been seriously yeah. i i'm dreading the fact that we haven't got to taste your biryani before this and thank you guys for recommending what we have here this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for you guys this would have definitely not happened if it wasn't for you mrs khan one of the most one of bangalore's best biryanis According to me, I've tasted biryanis in a, I've tasted biryani, sorry, biryanis. Um, I've tasted biryani in a lot of places. I love my Hyderabadi biryani because it's spicy. I love good homemade biryani because again, it's so spicy. This, on the other hand, is by far. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna say it. Okay. We've had food from Rahim's. You're not allowed to. Other places, but. Um, my word, Mrs. Khan, this is the best biryani I have ever tasted, hands down, hands down, by far the best biryani. Hey guys, if you want to top this biryani, I know that we did get a lot of recommendations with uh, a number of places that sell the best biryani. We are going to have, okay, so we, we are going to say that we are going to do a lot more reviews. We are going to do a blind tasting of different biryanis where... Uh, we don't know uh, we're probably gonna Which have at least gonna five through. or six different um, biryanis we're gonna have two other people with us celebrity guests who are gonna be judging the same thing and letting us know what they think so it's gonna be accumulative scoring we're gonna we're gonna be basing it on 10 um we are looking forward to more names we've had a few names come through and we are going to be tasting them so this was one of the names we we wanted to find this is Khan. Out, yes and we are so glad we did yeah um sorry guys for the for, for i'm not i'm not trying to put the others down but trust me to match up to this biryani is going to take some effort yeah a lot of effort uh, mrs khan you've been doing it for two decades maybe a little more uh but trust me you have been doing it right now wonder the amount of people that come through to you um want the kind of biryani that you want the biryani that you sell that you have to offer you have people that travel down from different places to eat this biryani and the first thing they want is the biryani while she enjoys that i know i have to talk while she's enjoying it otherwise it just becomes a boring video which we don't do not want to have um sorry i had to maybe talk when you're full um but yes mrs khan you did everything right um there is nothing except for the pepper chicken which has a little bit of oil everything else is spot on um that okay the sorry. Biryani, sorry sorry i thought sorry. you were eating um hey danny so we've got danny from pretty dan good who says that this is the best biryani and i agree yes danny we are stuffing our faces <laughs> because this is the first time we've tasted it so guys if you're around if you're around what is that road near tom's cafe Sorry, I if you are road. anywhere close to, if you are around Coxdown, Cooktown, Fraserdown, Hutchins Road, uh, just after Hutchins Road, Sevanagar, Lingrajpuram, Kamnali, HRBR, Basically Lea, anywhere, anywhere around that, anywhere And you want to get your hair done nicely, um, you want to get colouring, anything, <laughs> 
Danny is the pretty man. Dan good you got Dan is the man. Pretty dang good. Yeah, it's pretty dang good. <laughs> yes. So and a huge shout out to my buddy. Um Danny, thank you for tuning in, bro. Um just for getting back to the food though. It I think is, you should listen to Danny. He says eat eat. So come on, Deshaun. Eat. That's what you're doing while that goes. So enjoy your biryani. <laughs> But yes, like I said, um, top-notch biryani, amazing, amazing flavors, uh, not very oily. Biryani, again, is supposed to be, you need to add quite a bit of oil to make the dish, but then this is not oily. This is, as you can see to, to my right, Rebecca's already licking her fingers. She just can't get enough of it. Uh, it's just, it's just. It's finger licking fabulous. It's goodness. With every bite. It's just goodness personified? Yeah. It's just goodness personified. He's kicking me in the back and poof. Sorry guys, long legs. Um yeah, <laughs> it's just goodness personified. Um thank you once again, Mrs. Khan, for the most amazing, amazing biryani. Yeah. Well, um we this is the biryani. And this. um guys, I'm sure everyone knows that. After a good biryani, you need some amazing rice cubes to go with it. Um, it's basically Turning milk, the raisins, cashews, um, rice. This is a rice cube. Uh, you can also make it with lentils as well. But um, the most enjoyed, the most common one around is the rice cube. Uh, that has to go with your biryani. So you finish it off. You, uh, you finish it off after the biryani. You always go with the uh, kheer. I'm not quite done with the biryani. Everyone, including Mrs. Khan, I'm sorry. I'm just keeping this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep it so we can eat it off we, camera and yeah, just be just, ourselves. I just want to dig ourselves. into it in the way that I love to eat my food. Um, That's all over. Yes, like all over. And uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Um, that's how I like enjoying my food, especially biryani. You just need to get your hands into it. And also, if we continue talking, y'all are just going to get, get bored of us eating. Um, we are going to tuck into the kheer, but we do have an important announcement after that for so next week. So please stay, stay tuned. tuned. Uh, we're not going to take too long. We're just going to make this quick, simple, and uh, it's got a nice consistency. Okay, just saying, if y'all can hear like. And all of that in the background. My mom's my mom loves kheer. Uh, she's gonna kill me after this video, but it's true. Okay, let me try. Wow. Okay, guys. Mrs. Khan, I've never wanted to say this, but for the first time in my entire life, I would. I would love to be adopted. <laughs> if you think you need someone else to come and eat your food and give you amazing reviews like this over and over again, please feel free to get in touch with me. I do not. Um, sorry, I'm just saying this. It is amazing, guys. Fluffy. Mm. You need to taste it. it, it, it it's. Um, oh, I'm not the kind of person that eats kheer outside. I've never eaten kheer outside. I never very eat few, kheer. very very few places, a handful of places, three or four before this. Uh, not even so much, but oh my, my word! This oh my I think word. I'm using it too many times today, but excuse me, guys. There's just nothing else to say about it. It is phenomenal. Yeah, and I'm still going at it. It is creamy. It is creamy. Um, melted in your mouth. Goodness, you have the you have the cashews that come out. Um, I don't think we have raisins here, but it's just plain uh -huh. cashews, rice, milk, uh, condensed milk, and just amazing, amazing cooking. Um, she's, it's, it's, it's not too sweet. Oh. It, it, it's good. Sorry, it's not, good. it's not good for me at all with food in my mouth, but wow. Guys, you need to try this. Um, oh, Mrs. Khan. Mrs. Khan. We are so glad, we're honestly blessed, I think, that we found you. Our Sunday meal is definitely done with this. Guys, you all need to taste it. If you all haven't had your food, order from Mrs. Khan. On a Sunday, she just takes orders where they can send across the food. On other days, you have to pre-order what you want. For bulk orders, right? For bulk for big orders, orders, for party do, orders. She, yeah, she does catering, uh, catering yeah. parties, birthdays, engagements. 
everything else today's food has been amazing. it just fills all of your senses everything it just it's just good indian masala rice every indian most indians love rice um uh it's got that it's just got amazing flavors guys you should try i think try it. most indians are uh, sorry i think it's most south indians love that because a lot of a lot of indians love their rice okay. but guys if you're anywhere within a 6 to 8 hour radius from fraser town order this 6 to 8 hour you mean 8 yes. kilometer no 6 to 8 hour radius not kilometer i'm not talking in kilometers i'm talking in time in distance if you guys are uh, anywhere if whether it's whether it comes to you cold whether it's Warm. You can heat it up and still eat it. It is amazing. I guys, it's just you guys really need to try it. Words cannot that words cannot do justice to how amazing this food is. For the first uh we've had we've had instances where we were lost for words um but the, this is just this is just good Sunday eating. Uh it's a lazy day for you guys that want to get filled in the afternoon and have a good nap after that. and just dream about biryani again this is one of them i'm going to enjoy my biryani after this video stuff my face with all of this and then so have some more <laughs> <laughs> okay yes we uh honestly today has been really really good this is what sundays are about i know it's lockdown i know you're all inside i hope you're staying safe but if you need food the food is clean it's hygienic um We have seen a lot of photos. We have got reviews of diff- otherwise, but from what we've heard today, from what we've seen as well, it is hygienic. It's prepared. It's still prepared in her kitchen, in her house. The food comes out with extra love, with a lot of heart. And I think today we are happy hearts. It's it's a beautiful Sunday. Residency road is quiet, so no background music except for the few crows that are. as you can as i'm saying it you can hear them so if if you're around if you're not around if you still want food you haven't cooked you want food for dinner mrs khan is your answer thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you mrs khan for this food mrs khan this is just really tasty 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 food um thank you umar th- thank you umar for letting us get this sorted um okay sorry i keep crashing in uh if i know they're not they don't have a digital footprint because they like to see, keep themselves unique they like to keep themselves authentic and and just by word of mouth marketing so what we're going to do is in the comment section post the video we're going to leave their phone number you can get in touch with them you can tell them you found them after bitch and binge or bitch sorry after binge or bitch just wants to get the- Hey. She forgot yeah. the binge part. So you can tell them <laughs> you you heard them from us if you haven't found them before because we found them from somebody else and that's exactly how it is. It's word of mouth. And um yeah, we couldn't be happier. We couldn't be more excited with regards to me. My my Sunday is made. The biryani is brilliant. I know I talk too much, but I can't help it when I need to play something I need to do it. Uh um, Yeah. Well, hats off to hats off to you, Mrs. Khan, and her kids that help her on this. Um, um, it's just, it's just, it's good that you guys decided to share what you love and what you cook at home to others, to make sure that they understand the the flavors of authentic uh, mutton biryani. Yeah. This is by far, like I said, the best biryani I've ever had. I've had biryani for years at a number of places. This one is, this one is really unique. um it's like it's rich. like something it's like something that you would you just have to think about and you taste it even for years after you actually eat it um this is one of those dishes and um yeah so that's about the food that mrs khan has given us thank you so much for that mrs khan okay so we're done with sunday sunday soul food we're done with our usual session we only come on twice or thrice a week on the weekends as you know So next Saturday we want you guys to tune in on Insta Live. We will send out the timings. We've got a giveaway alert. You can be vegan, you can be vegetarian, you can be non-vegetarian. It's applicable to all. This is something that we guys are 
we one were of the things we, we were we were we were just flabbergasted with yeah. the thing that this guy has got to this person has got to offer yeah. uh, it's something that not a lot of people have Do? taken the chance to try out yeah. um, it's not something that you would normally get in India uh, but this guy has gone uh, leaps and bounds beyond most of the people with culinary, culinary experience yeah. and uh, the want to just put out good food. It's something simple. It's something gooey. Um, it's not, not gooey. I, it's creamy. It is stringy. No, it's creamy. Cre creamy stringy. It's not stringy. It's okay. creamy. Okay, it's creamy. I beg to differ. Um, nevertheless, but, uh, no, but what he does is not stringy. That's oh, it's not stringy. Okay, it's not stringy. Sorry about that. But otherwise, it, it usually is. That's a good hint. This is a first for the both of us um, in terms of the type of food that we are tasting and uh, the fact that he's got so much of difference to to the plate. And um, we can't wait to try it. You guys should stay tuned to our video next week so we can give this to one of our lucky viewers. Yeah. Um, at the same time. While we put up the post, the post has nothing to do with what the product is. If you think you can guess it, try us out. Um, if you're right, you win a prize. If no one gets it, then we figure out a new way of finding our winners. Our followers are building our... Oh, so Sean doesn't know this, but our total viewership in the last three weeks has reached over 8,000 people which is phenomenal thank you so much <laughs> thank you guys so much you've been uh, very supportive a lot of well we've still been looking for people to give us uh, recommendations rec recommendations to try and tell us how we can improve we are always open yeah. to suggestions uh, if you're doing anything wrong please feel free to get in touch with us we are always if open to it if you don't want to put the, the suggestions in the comments and if you, you feel that you want to get in touch with us personally do message us we are very responsive we are open to criticism because as we said we are learning too uh we love our food we're doing this out of pure passion yeah and so um yeah yeah so please feel free to get in touch with us um most of us are already friends so you can feel free to get in touch with us we are open to suggestions and if you're not our friends you can, we are, you can. we're very friendly people so you can still make friends with us and yes and um just another clue i think we should give them another clue what do you want to say like yesterday the next product also comes in oh show. yeah like yesterday the next product that we are going to talk about also comes in a jar so for the ones that get it right, um, well, for the first person that gets it right, I know we're gonna get a number of uh, people give us a lot of options, but the, for the first person that gets it right, hopefully he's easy to get in touch with, he or she is easy to get in touch with, and we can give this out to him yeah. or her. So um, thank you guys for joining. We are gonna stuff our faces Yeah, because I think food. we've been talking um, too much now. And yeah, we, I think it's about time we wrap up because we just want to stuff our faces with this food. Thank you, Mrs. Khan. Thanks to her son, um, Omar. Omar, for letting us have this. Um, and uh, thank you guys for the recommendations. We love the food and we really think that you guys should try it as well. Yeah. It's, um, definitely a, it's definitely a binge. Oh, trust me. Um, there's no bitching about this food. There's, this is not wrong in any way. It is yeah. just amazing, amazing party. Uh, I'm gonna say this is hearty called, food. The, and this is also Hutchins Road represent. Represent yeah. what? <laughs> no, you know. Ignore it. Well, thank you guys for joining. Like, yo. Thank you guys for joining binge and or binge or bitch where she talks and he talks. <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for all the love. Stay tuned for our events next week for our shows and. Uh, we are up. Over and out. Well, we need to leave because stay we safe. want to eat more biryani. Um, stay safe. Stay Take tuned. Care. Remember, we are looking for answers. The giveaway alert is going to be next Saturday. We are still um, not sure of the time, but between 4 and 5, or maybe 4 and 5.30, we will put it out midweek. Guys, stay in. Stay tuned. Like, subscribe, oh, share, and like, subscribe, follow, share. Do everything that you guys need Spread to do. Spread the love. Nothing Spread else. the love. All right. Uh, thank you, guys. <laughs> well, you take care. Enjoy your Sunday. And bye-bye. Uh, See you. We still have to get up and switch it off. So we can go closer and say bye. Bye.